Hello guys, welcome to the channel. My name is Derek. I'm glad you're here because something's been brewing. Something dark. Something scary. Something that I don't even know. I don't even know what's going to happen. Now you guys are familiar with the Lord of the Rings, I hope. Now I've never read the books. I did read The Hobbit. And I enjoyed the movies. I even actually enjoyed the extended editions of The Hobbit movies. Love the extended version of The Lord of the Rings. I've watched them so much. Actually, I just started watching the series over again just recently, uh, last weekend. And I'm actually going to continue this weekend watching them. But we have heard for a while that there's going to be a Lord of the Rings TV show from Amazon with almost a billion dollars or half, is, is it half a billion or a billion dollars for this whole project? And I think it's going to be five or seven seasons. It's weird because one of the things that was <laughs> particularly like annoying about it was whenever this thing started happening a couple of years ago, you started hearing about it. You hear about Jeff Bezos wanting its own Game of Thrones. That's when you started hearing things like, oh, there will be sex and nudity in Lord of the Rings, the TV show. Why? 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 I don't I don't understand. And that's that's just one thing. There's a lot of things that's happening in this. Uh things I don't really it it doesn't bog me as much as some people. And that's the forced diversity angle. And you know how I feel about diversity in movies and video games and stuff like that. I like it if it's organic. I don't like it when it's ham-fisted in. And it kind of seems this is what they're doing with the new Lord of the Rings TV show. They're kind of adding diversity to the whole series, adding brand new characters, race-swapping characters. Actually, not characters, but race-swapping races, which is kind of weird. Um, it's really weird. And, you know, I know what you're going to say. You just don't like it because there's a black dwarf. No, I don't give a fuck. But I, at least, you know, if she's a person of color and she's a dwarf, I want her to have a fucking beard. Because that's fucking lore. Now, I don't care what color her skin is. But I want a fucking beard on my dwarf lady. Do that. Do that, my lady. Give me the bearded my lady. That's all I want. That's all I want. That's all I want. We got short health. Short haired elves. Elrond. Short-haired elf, which that's kind of weird. We have a battle suit ready, <laughs> battle suit ready Galadriel. That's okay. Apparently, a lot of this movie is what I'm getting from it. It's not even a movie. I don't know why I'm calling it a fucking movie. A lot of it is new stuff, and a lot of it they're saying is saying. You know, we respect, we respect the uh, lore and the everything. We, we respect all the stuff, Lord of the Rings. We, we just respect it. And um, we're going to, we're going to make our own Lord of the Rings. And it's going to be better than your Lord of the Rings. Peter Jackson, it's going to be way better. God, I hope, I hope, I, I don't want this to fail, honestly. I love Lord of the Rings, and I'll watch it. I'm going to watch this. I have nothing against, you know, most of the stuff they're doing. But it's annoying because it's all hand-fisted in to fit some kind of uh, social justice thing. It's a checklist of things that has to happen. You know, there has to, has to be the trans hobbits for no reason. Just let's go ahead and make our hobbits and make them trans for no reason. Well, I'm not saying that's happening, but, you know. And, I mean, they're just kind of messing with the actual subject, like the actual material of what is Tolkien. You know, I know what you're going to say. It's like you're, you're a sexist, you're a misogynist, you're a homophobe, you're a racist, you're a Nazi, you're a white supremacist. You're going to say all that stuff. I understand. That's fine. You can call me whatever you want. I don't really give two fucks what you think. Honestly, I don't. I really don't care what you think. Unless you have something productive 
and it's something that makes a lot of sense, then we'll talk about it. But for the most part, if you want to call me a Nazi or a white supremacist or anything like that, please go walk that direction and fuck yourself right in the face. Okay, now that we got that out of the air. I like Lord of the Rings. I love the movies. Um, I like the lore. I love, you know, everything about the movies. Now, <clears throat> you know, people that are saying, like, there shouldn't be black characters in Lord of the Rings. That doesn't bother me. You know, if they decided to make a trans hobbit, I don't care. But don't do, like, how some, some things, like... Let's take Last of Us 2. There's a whole part of the story dedicated to a trans kid and his village didn't like him because he was trans. They, you know, it could have been anything, but the subject, you know, not that he was in trouble, not that, you know, they was trying to survive. They made the point to be like, hey, this, you know, all the things he can't survive, he's getting get kicked out of his group because he's trans. They, they just force it in, and you know, they force things in that don't need to be forced. It needs to be organic. It's, it needs to be organic. It doesn't need to be forced. That's what people are pissed off about. That's why people didn't like The Last of Us 2. And that's why some people have problems with the new Lord of the Rings. Actually, a lot of problems with most fucking media like movies, video games these days, is because there's this social justice quota you have to you have to hit these targets. You know, you have to have this number of POCs, you know, homosexuals, lesbians, bisexuals, trans. Let's get rid of the white people because white people, you know, fuck the white people, you know. But it's it's not organic. Most of the people that's arguing about this stuff, saying that, oh, it needs to be more woke, these people aren't going to watch the show to begin with. Same thing goes with video games. You know, people get pissed off. Oh, you have a macho man. Uh, you have a pretty hot female. Oh, that's bad. That's real bad. It's really offensive. You better not do that in my video games. These people aren't going to play the video games to begin with. They're not going to watch the TV shows. They just want to have something to bitch about. That's all it is. That's all it will always be. It's always going to be that way. And I, I think that's why I'm kind of... I, I'm suspicious about the new Lord of the Rings show. You know, I've seen the posters and Super Bowl weekend. There's supposed to be a trailer. So we get to see it at least a better look at it. I don't want it to be like Game of Thrones. And I would like for there to be a reason for why there's a, a black elf. Why there's, you know, that's fine. I want to know. I want to know where he came from. I want to know where the black dwarf came from came from i you know if there's a black hobbit i'd like to know the stories of these things don't just put them in there just to put them in there give a reason for it and it's the same thing if it was a white guy and the cast was predominantly black and you just decided to ham fist a white guy in there for no reason i want to know where that white guy and why is he in this fucking movie that's what i want to know Give us a reason to care about this stuff. Don't push it on somebody. Don't push it. And that's the bad thing about the left and these woke idiots. They have to push and push and shove. They have to just push. And it doesn't make sense. And, you know, I'm just going to tell you, like, a lot of this woke stuff that happens and media, like movies and video games, most of the time when there's a woke message, the message, it usually bombs. It fucking bombs. People hate it. The only people who like it are the ones that are bitching about it to begin with. The blue check marks on Twitter, all these journalists that say they're journalists, but they're just activists. They don't care about these things. 
They don't. They want clout. They want those blue check marks. They want the younger audience, these woke people, to love them. Just sip it on their soy all day long, sitting on Twitter, being offended over every fucking thing you can think. These are the same people that think January 6th was an insurrection, which it fucking wasn't. A few people got rowdy and that's it. I mean, we had the whole summer of love or where people was burning down cities, but we don't talk about that. It's all those white people that went and attacked in January 6th and, you know, it's fucked that. You know, these are the people who talk about stuff like that. So people is against Joe Rogan, which they don't even listen to Joe Rogan. They're like, hey, Joe Rogan's bad. We're woke. Fuck off. So, you know, these are the people that's bitching about Lord of the Rings being woke. They want this stuff to be woke. They don't care when it comes out. But as long as it has this checklist of social justice issues checked off, just to make these blue check marks happy, then that's all that matters. We don't, you know, let's piss off the actual people that love this stuff. You know, the same thing happened to Star Wars. I kind of like the sequel trilogy. I didn't have very many problems with it. I kind of felt like some things were forced. And I think it's getting to the point now where I'm just used to it. Where it's getting to the point where it's happened so much in media and you hear about it every day you know as a gamer growing up i didn't hear this i just looked at things like oh this new video game's coming out this new movie's coming out i'm pretty excited about it but now it's all politicized and that's what the lord of the rings show on amazon's ultimately going to be it's going to be a politicized woke fest i hope to god it's good i really do i want this to be good i want more lord of the rings but give me a reason for these things, for these changes. Make it organic. Tolkien is for everyone. It doesn't matter what race you are, what sexual orientation you are, what religion you are. Well, maybe the... Fuck off. Um, yeah. <clears throat> Tolkien is for everyone. Lord of the Rings is for everyone. Everybody should be able to play a part in this universe. But give a reason for that. Don't just throw it in there. Just don't do that. There's a thing I was thinking about earlier. It's a, it's a kind of kind of stupid, actually, now that I think about it. So imagine you have this pitcher plum full of the best Kool-Aid you ever had. Just pick a flavor. You taste it. It's great. You want more of it, so you go back for seconds. Well, somebody decides, hey, let's put a little pinch of salt in there. Okay, we'll go ahead and put a little pinch of salt. So right away, you're not going to notice it. You're, you're drinking your Kool-Aid, and you don't notice it right off because, you know, just a little tiny bit. Well, another person, they're like, hey, let's put some more salt in there. And it keeps going and going and going. And you finally take a drink of it. It's Kool-Aid, but it's salty Kool-Aid. It's no longer Kool-Aid. I mean, it is Kool-Aid because it's made from Kool-Aid, but it doesn't taste like Kool-Aid. It looks like it, but it doesn't taste like it. It's kind of what I think is happening with media. <laughs> it's like people are fucking with the Kool-Aid, man. They're fucking with the Kool-Aid, and it's kind of stupid. At the end of the day, like I said, you know, I'm sorry I rant and I and I go on about some of these things that annoy me. You know, watching my channel, I go off topic quite a bit. And I hate doing that because, you know, I have so many things that I want to talk about. And oh, whenever I get a chance, it automatically just hops out of there. And I'm just like, yes, let me talk about it. I don't really have very many people to talk about this stuff with. And which sucks because I, you know, I miss my friends. I do. And I, I know a lot of my friends probably don't agree with the things I have been thinking as of late. But that's what I've been thinking about. I, I want the Lord of the Rings show to be good. I, I do. I'm going to give it a chance. I'm going to give it the benefit of the doubt. But don't 
force diversity. Don't force the message. Not everybody is here to watch Lord of the Rings for the message. I don't care about the message. I, I don't care about that. I want to watch Lord of the Rings. Give me a good Lord of the Rings show and I'll watch it for five seasons. Make it shitty, I'm going to make fun of it for five seasons. I'll still probably watch it just to see how it ends. But God damn, I hope it's good. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Definitely appreciate it. Feel free to hit that follow button and I'll see you soon.